There's and insane. Oh, oh, Donald Trump, talk for I'm once. So, Yay. I'm such an idiot when I was seven years old. Oh my god. Kids react to politics. This episode, Donald Trump. Good morning. Good morning. Um, Good Mr. Morning. Trump, with the exception of your family, oh, it's about have Donald you I gotta go, actually. Been told no. Oh, I remember I was into the, in this one uh, a long time ago. Let me just say one thing. Let me just say one thing before we move on. I was seven years old. I just didn't know what I was saying. So before we get any farther, know that I have a lot more opinions now than I do when I was seven. My father gave Jackson's me a small so loan tiny. of a million dollars. My father gave me a small loan of a million No, <laughs> no, don't pause, don't pause. My father gave me a small loan, loan of a million dollars. dollars. I yeah, I wish I had a small loan of a million dollars. We have very stupid people. Yay, there I am. Country negotiating for us. Oh, and gosh. we have leaders that don't know what they're I'm doing. I'm coming up. Yourself? He's talking about himself. Thank you for understanding ah. me, Trump. <laughs> I look so bad. Oh, <laughs> stupid mic keeps popping. What? <laughs> I have the same reaction now. Like, what are you talking about? He's like a five-year-old. He throws tantrums about, like, stupid things. Um, yeah, so I was just speaking facts there. This guy will say anything. You will, too. Nasty guy. Oh, uh, okay, very One nasty guy. That looks like I can fly. One endorsement. From any right. of his colleagues. All right. Just, so undiplomatic. Yeah, I would still agree with that for sure. Like Ted. TedCruz.org. Where did you I support it, Ted? This is insane. Donald, Donald, about it oh. Oh. Donald Trump, talk for once. I'm so, Yay. I'm such an idiot when I was seven years old. Oh, my God. Come on, try getting it out. Try getting it out. I'll get it out. <laughs> Me and my eight-year-old self are like, what did you just say, sir? Whoa. This guy is mean. <laughs> I have not changed. If he talked to me that way, I would literally slap him. I, Jacob, you get it. I would do the exact same thing. Probably slap him twice, one on each cheek. Boom, boom. You've called women you don't like fat pigs, dogs, slobs, and disgusting animals. <laughs> Your Twitter account Only Rosie several... O'Donnell. No! I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to seven-year-old self, but you're an idiot. Oh, that is so not funny. Oh my goodness, that is so disrespectful. Like. On another level. I don't think when I watched it how in, how insanely rude that was. It doesn't sound like a campaign. It sounds like a comedy show. That is so rude. He speaks his mind, but his mind isn't right. Yeah, I was speaking facts. Let's make America great again. It still is great. Okay, we gotta talk Maybe again. Make it worse. Thank you, Sydney. That was what I was about to say. It still is great. And you're just gonna make it worse. Ah! I was kind of spitting facts, but I was like, I hate myself. Ah! I don't want him for president. If he becomes president, I'm moving to Canada. I'm still here. I guess I didn't fulfill my plan. What, I was 13 here? It wasn't that easy, okay? So from watching these clips, what do you think of this guy? He's funny, he's a nice guy, but the other people that are rude to him, they don't let him talk. <sighs> Oh my god. Okay, let's talk for a second. He's not nice. He's not funny. He's disrespectful. And you know what? He shouldn't be talking. Because when he talks, again, like I said earlier, it's either disrespectful, stupid, or all about himself. He's funny. He's a nice guy. But the other people that are rude to him, they don't let him talk. I think Lucas! <laughs> okay, but I was also correct. So this is Donald Trump, and he is a businessman. No <laughs> businessman. Well, he he is a businessman, but he doesn't act very businesslike. From what we showed you, what about him isn't presidential? No, he seems more of like a comedian. I said the exact same thing. He's just really racist. If you That's true, he is very racist. racist. One of the women said like he didn't have that politician filter and he just says whatever he feels like saying. He truly does just say what's on his mind and a lot of people love that and a lot of other people don't. I'm one of the people that does not. If he's gonna be rude to ladies, he shouldn't be a president. There, that was probably the only smartest thing I said as a seven-year-old. 
they're probably just like, oh, I think he would be a good president because he's funny. Okay, same thing with Kanye. I've seen people saying, oh, I'm gonna vote for Kanye as a joke. Don't you dare vote for Kanye as a joke. Everybody is saying a bunch of stuff about him, and that's just making him more popular. Okay, I literally am so smart. Oh my gosh, facts only. Facts, no paper, no printer. Well, some people are saying that they like okay, that, that he- Okay, that sign in the bottom corner, thank you, Lord and Jesus, for President Trump, that's a little overboard. I get you're speaking your mind, but say it in a way that won't hurt people. Exactly. When the thing that's on your mind is racist, uh, keep that to yourself. Trump has said that if he's elected president, he's gonna do things like create jobs and protect our country. Oh, that's a funny joke. <laughs> that's just hilarious. And building a wall between the US and Mexico to keep out illegal immigrants. I say no think wall. What things he wants to do as president? That's stupid. My okay, good. My has a brother that lives in Mexico. So if, they, if he puts a wall, they won't be able to come over here. People can be living here enjoying their life and then in the middle of the night ice can come into their house deport them back to mexico and leave their children here well, if they're illegal immigrants they can sign their papers and stuff like that but if they're immigrants and donald trump just wants them gone because of their skin color ah uh, he boils my blood uh. there are muslims in the world who you know hate what's happening and wish that they could stop it so to just like ban all of them would be a little extreme. Wow, like I'm actually kind of proud of myself. I'm really vibing with myself right now. <laughs> Do you care who the next president is gonna be? Well, as long as it's not Donald, I'm fine. It does not affect my life. <laughs> Anybody so but Trump. I only care about sports. I don't really care because I trust, well, I somewhat trust the adult. I vividly remember making that statement. We're gonna throw that little part out the window. Um, I absolutely do care, and I do not trust the adults anymore. In that moment, I remember like truly believing with my entire being that like we were going to move past the memes, move past the videos, and like you know, think critically and choose the best political leader, and we didn't. It matters a lot. Because the president can remove laws, he can make new mm, I laws. Didn't. At that time, I did not know that there had to be a second party that had to approve. And I just thought that it was basically a dictatorship. His supporters think that that's the type of person the country needs, that they need someone that is more like everyone else and not just like the normal person who usually runs for president. No, I'm sorry. No, we need a president that knows what they're doing. I like people with a different background, but I also want someone who's more into politics. There we go. That is correct. Jackson, period, straight facts. You need experience to become president. If you have no experience, something's gonna go wrong. <laughs> Look at us now. I literally predicted the future here. Last question. Do you think Donald Trump is gonna become the president? Da, 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 no. 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 I don't think he'll win. Fingers crossed he's not. <sighs> no. No. It's funny, this video was from before he won the election. Nobody thought he would win it. Yes, but I don't think he should. Oh. Everyone in my house is counting oh. it, so I have to I was win. correct. <laughs> but there's no telling. I mean, anything could happen. Wow. <laughs> The same reasons why so many people thought he shouldn't become president, like, fueled the passion of his supporters and made them, like, want to go even harder for him. And that's the exact same thing today. There are probably some kids five, six, seven years old that their dreams to be the president. And think about it. This is their role model. Barack Obama was a very good role model. Donald Trump? Let's just compare the two for a second. Think about that. Obviously, you were in this episode, so we're wondering if any of your thoughts have changed four years later. So what we're gonna do is ask you some of the exact same questions that we asked you back then and see if any of your answers have changed at all. Perfect, I love that so very much. What do you think about Donald Trump? Uh, he is not very presidential. He speaks his mind a lot, it seems like He's more so in like TV show mode than he is in president mode. He's an unprofessional five-year-old who thinks he can speak his mind. He can speak his mind, 
but sometimes his mind is very disrespectful and racist. I do not think that he is fit for the presidency. I truly do not um, believe that he should be our president. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. <laughs> Some say he is not the usual type of person to run for president. What about him is or is not presidential? Everything, what is that? He's five years old. The way he speaks is not very presidential. He, he's very, um, how do I say, just not a good person. And I think our president should be a good person. That might be a little bit too much to ask for though. He doesn't mind, I guess, making jokes at other people's expense. It's not a good thing, but it's different. It's like he refuses to educate himself on the things that are going on. With COVID-19, he, he was like, oh, if you just stop doing tests, cases will go down, like, no. He kind of tries to appeal to his like core audience where he doesn't really care so much about what some people think. He just knows that he'll get elected by that other half of the country. When you have a title <laughs> like president, you should always have the people's interests in mind and that's all people, not just your friends, not just your family. You should be thinking about all of the citizens within our country and that is something that time and time again he fails to do. If you um, don't support him, if you're against him, then automatically it's like you don't count anymore or it's okay for him to completely disregard you or do things that might actively hurt you because, well, you know, you don't like him, so why should he like you? But as a president, <laughs> that's the opposite of how you should think. <laughs> so why do you think people like him? I really don't know. I, yeah, I, there's nothing to like about him. I cannot comprehend that you like him l in any way. If you're a woman, how, how do you like him? If you're a person of color, how do you like him? If you are literally not white and not rich, how, how do you like him? I understand rich people like him and it's more his demographic, so he'll create policies that um, help them. He enables and encourages um, the behavior that's been deemed like politically incorrect. Going back to Donald Trump, there are many who still think he shouldn't be president because they think he is not qualified. But his supporters think that that's the type of person that the country needs, that we need someone that is more like everyone else and not just like the normal person that usually runs for president. Do you still um, think that that's a good thing? What do you think? I just don't understand how people say Trump is like everyone else. His father gave him what? Um, a small loan of a million dollars? I don't know how that's normal. I think that kind of is a good thing because we need something to balance it out. If we only have rich white guys, old old rich white guys as our Congress people and our president, we're not gonna be getting the same equal treatment and the same and more ideas, more opinions from women, people of color, young people. Like our country isn't made up of only white, old white guys. You want someone who's human and maybe someone who's been in your shoes. Donald Trump is not that person. Like, let's be realistic. He's a billionaire. Like, y'all are not the same. <laughs> like, come on. All right, last question. Do you think that Donald Trump will get a second term as president? I think it's definitely possible. I'm actually leaning towards yes. I'm gonna manifest this. Donald Trump will not be the president for the next four years. Yes, because a lot of people what like to re-elect their president. Unfortunately, yes, I really do think so. With all my hope, all my like might, I'm going to pray <laughs> that he does not become president again. He is not going to get his second term. I'm setting it out into the universe. Good vibes only. <laughs> if you're a young person and you don't care, like, I think you need to get on that ish. You need to get on that because soon we're going to be voting and soon we're going to be choosing who runs our country next. Hey guys, it's Sierra, React producer. Thanks so much for watching this episode. As you are reflecting on this episode and responding to it, please keep in mind that the people in this episode are kids and teens who are willing to come back and share their thoughts and opinions with us. So please be kind to one another, regardless of what side of the aisle you may be on. Thanks guys. Bye.